Hi, this is Jody Pyatt from Color and Shape Design, and I want to thank you for purchasing one of my crocheted blankets patterns. Um, this video will show you how to begin each piece. Um, they're, it's just very repetitive. Each piece is started in the exact same way. So I'm going to just start with a small little corner piece. And so the pattern calls for chaining 17. So I'm going to chain 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, so there's my starting chain. Then the pattern states single crochet in the third stitch or the th third chain from your hook. So what that means is if this, this, here, let me take that out. So this is one, this is two, and this one here is three. So let me put that back. So it's, you can see that it's one, two, and this is three. I'm gonna go right into that stitch right there. And I'm gonna single crochet. Okay, and then I'm going to mark this corner, this little piece right here. I do that, I'm gonna undo this again and show you kind of how you can mark that in an easy way. You can use a stitch marker. I use just an extra piece of contrasting color yarn and I just kind of place it there. And then I do that same thing. I count one, two, you wanna go right here to three. Three, okay. And then what that does is that marks your corner. And so that'll be helpful later. So just leave it alone. And the pattern calls for single crochets to the end of the row. So let's just do that. Let's just single crochet all the way. Oops, to the end of the row. So you can always put this on slow-mo if you need to. I'm gonna speed up just a bit here, just to get to the end of my row. Whoops. That happens. Okay, I'm almost there and right there. Chain one, turn your piece over. All right, so here we are. Uh, pattern now calls for your first row of popcorns. So let's see. What you're gonna do is you're gonna place your popcorn stitch right there. So see, you have your chain stitch, you have your single crochet, and the pattern, all my patterns call for this exact same, the exact same process and the same number of missed stitches. So there's one, to make a popcorn, you make four single crochets in the same stitch. So this is two, same stitch, number three, and then same stitch, number four and so you have this then to join it take your hook out you join from the you take your hook and join from the back of your piece through that first single crochet and you just grab that loop and pull through super simple super easy to make a popcorn i just love them to death and then you single crochet one and then you're going to make another popcorn so once again one two, three, four, take your hook out. You're gonna go into your first stitch. It's pretty easy to see, one, two, three, four, to get to that very first stitch. And you grab your loop and you pull through. And what this does is it puts that popcorn right there on the back side. 
Um, if you're a left-handed person, um, you need to do the exact opposite of this. I'll show you in this next stitch. One, two, three, whoops, did that wrong. One, two, three, and a four. If you're, if you're left-handed, you'll go from the front and then kind of pull that stitch over like that and pull through. And that kind of puts the stitch on the front like that. And that's for, that's for lefties. So I'm right-handed. So that is, doesn't feel good when I do it because I'm, I'm, I'm right-handed. Uh, but if you're lefty, that's the only change you have to make to the pattern. So let's see, one, two, three, four. Here's your popcorn. Go to the back, grab your loop, pull through. Simple, single crochet, and then popcorn. And you just keep doing this. Popcorn, single crochet, all the way till you get to the end of your row. So let's just do that real quickly here. I'm gonna speed up a little bit. Um, you can slow-mo the video if you need to, or you can fast forward till we get to the end. Because the end of this row is where I think most people kind of struggle a little bit if they're new to crochet. So in just a minute, I'm gonna show you that. It's, it's very simple solution if you've been struggling with it. So that's really the main purpose I'm doing this video because I don't like teach crochet or anything like that, but it's really just to show this final piece right here. So here's my final popcorn for this row. That's two, three, and four. Okay, and I'm gonna go from behind and grab. Okay, and then here I am at the end of my row, and I think what people see is they feel like you always have to put two more stitches, and they look at that and they think they don't have room, there's only one stitch there. But that's why I had you do this stitch marker. This is actually your corner over here. It, it Because you did a chain, it doesn't look like a normal stitch, but it really is. So. The pattern calls for two after your last popcorn to do two single crochets. So you're going to do one here. And then you're going to put one right here where that stitch marker is. Oops, I'm not grabbing it right, right there. See how there's two loops there? That's actually your chain stitch that you made at the end and then you turned to make the row so it leaves just this little tiny hole it's a little bit difficult to get into sometimes this is the only time you're going to have this trouble once you get these rows started this this problem disappears and and you won't have to deal with that again it's just that very first corner that can be problematic for people okay and so then you chain one turn your piece over and this is what you've got a nice pretty row of popcorns and now single crochet and again one, two, that's, that's your chain stitch. This is your single crochet. And then you're always gonna go in this third stitch. So right there, single crochet. After you do it a couple of times, it just becomes second nature and you won't even think about it. And you're just gonna single crochet all the way back again. Okay, I'm almost getting there. And you go here, and you go there. And my, I do suggest, I didn't just count that, but I do suggest that if you're new to this, that you do count, count, count every single row. These are, most of my pieces are squares or rectangles. So you want an even alignment on either side. So, if you just count, you'll, you'll never have any trouble. So let's just quickly count those stitches up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And that's what the pattern called for. It called for a chain of 17, but then a single crochet is 15. Every single row is gonna have that same count. And that's what keeps a nice square piece. So again, chain one. Turn your piece over 
And once again, we're gonna do a row. It calls for a popcorn. So you go stitch one, stitch two, and you're gonna go right here in stitch three, right there. And you're gonna one, two, three, four. One, two, this is three, and this is four. Okay, from the back, grab your loop, pull through, and single crochet. And then this calls for single crochets until you get, and, and it calls for counting. Uh, let's see, what's my number here? I don't remember my number. So I'm just gonna go to the end, but your pattern will tell you how many single crochets. And I just tell you to count, count, count until so you get to the end. So you go like this, single crochet, single crochet, and I just know what it looks like. So I know that because you have to have two stitches at the end, I can just see that this is where my popcorn's supposed to be, even though I didn't officially count it. So one, two, three, and a four, and pull through, and then it always calls for that two, one, two single crochets. And see how this one's a lot easier to see that second stitch now that you, once you get your piece started. Be, so you've got, yeah, you chain one. Okay, so that's the piece. Let's put that aside for a minute. I'm gonna show you the full piece that I finished. And you can see on this one, I used a bobby pin, uh, not a bobby pin, what is that? A safety pin in the corners for stitch markers. Here's an official stitch marker. Um, I've also got one here that I've shown that I used a paper clip. So any of these, any of these, and again, just the, or just the, you know, piece of yarn to hold on to that corner. Um, you'll have on two sides. This side, you don't need the corner because you've got your, your yarn. You can see that corner really super easy. But on this side, you're going to need you're gonna to need to use them until you get familiar. You know, all of my pieces, again, use this same, sorry, I bumped the camera, use this same format. So once you get, if you're making a full blanket, once you get a few pieces in, you're gonna have this down. So I hope this was helpful to you. Um, visit us at Color and Shape Design. And there it is. And we're on Instagram and Facebook, and we love to see photos of people's finished work. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.